Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, we're going to create uh, this uh, right screen from scratch using Figma. This is part of a series in which we're recreating uh, an entire uh, app UI kit, which is called NFTX, which I recently discovered on UI8 and uh, I really like the look. So feel free to check it out in the link in the description to access the entire UI kit. But now without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. So let's jump right into Figma and the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this screen right here. And uh, now let's uh, just uh, get rid of uh, all of this uh, content. And uh, we're also going to get rid of the bottom menu right here. And uh, let's select layer, select this one, let's delete. And uh, we are going to copy and paste the logo. So because we want it in the login section, we just want to add that element of uh, branding still. And uh, we are going to start adding some uh, input fields. So we're actually going to use these ones right here for consistency. So it's pretty straightforward. We just created some uh, text and uh, we have this uh, rectangle right here. And uh, we are going to delete this part and let's uh, bring this section up. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're also going to turn uh, the layout grids so that uh, we can see the uh, grid itself. And uh, we're going to change uh, the label to emo. Then we're going to add uh, or start adding uh, a some text for the emo. And we're also going to go ahead and add uh, um, an icon for the email itself. So let's uh, jump right over here. I'm going to write uh, email and uh, let's change the color. And this, by the way, is Nuclo icons. Um, you can simply go on Google and uh, find it. It's uh, um, an icon management uh, software which enables you to search uh, uh, for some icons in this uh, window and uh, as you're going to be able to see now you can drag and drop the icon directly into Figma in this case uh, it's going to be exported as an SVG and uh, I can simply go ahead and increase the size bring it here on the far left let's just adjust the size so that it's going to work well overall and uh, we're going to sample the color from uh, this bottom menu so that we can have some uh, consistency. And uh, since I'm simulating the typing action, what I'm going to do here is add a rectangle, which uh, is going to be on the far right of the text itself. Probably going to use uh, a color such as this one just to simulate that action. And uh, we're also going to change the color of the stroke in order to make this look like uh, it's uh, uh, an active input field so that we're uh, actively typing in uh, the, the email. So that's that. Now let's uh, go ahead and duplicate this. Uh, <clears throat> let's write in pa password. And uh, here we're going to um, here we're going to add a lock icon. So let's type in lock and we are going to find a icon of uh, uh, such as this one. I think that could work pretty well. So let's try and make the icon similar in size to the email icon. I'm going to basically sample the color, select this icon, delete the email one. And uh, let's increase the size of this just a little bit. And uh, here we have uh, our lock icon. Now at this point, uh, what we're going to need uh, is uh, some uh, uh, dots to simulate this uh, state. So I'm going to create a circle. And uh, I don't want these to be too big and either too small. I'm simply going to duplicate them a few times by using uh, uh, the Alt key while, while I'm dragging and then uh, 
command D to create uh, these uh, different uh, copies on the same horizontal plane. All right, let's make this one a little bit smaller. And uh, we're also going to add uh, another icon, which is going to be the, um, the eye, but it's going to be um, a not visible one in order to basically show the user that um, they cannot see the password, but uh, if they click, uh, they select this icon, they're actually going to turn on the visibility of the password simply because it's quite a common uh, practice. Um, you definitely want to give them this uh, option uh, if uh, the projects allow for. Now let's go ahead and let's uh, uh, duplicate this uh, button right here. And uh, this one is going to be here on the top. And uh, we're also going to select uh, this uh, text right here and or actually this input field right here. And we're going to make it gray simply because it's not uh, selected. And uh, now let's also give the users the option to sign in with other ways. So I'm going to write in or sign in with. Let's enter this text and we're going to sample the color of this gray text right here. And uh, let's uh, create some uh, circles which are going to have the same property of uh, this element uh, here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to basically go under here, copy properties, and then uh, over here, paste properties. As you can see, we have this uh, nice uh, um, circle, which has the same property as the input field for consistency. Now let's go over here and let's write in uh, Google and then Apple. Um, now we do, and then Facebook. All right, we're probably going to go with um, this version of uh, the logo. All right, now at this point, what we're gonna do is uh, we're going to select all of these icons and uh, we're going to try and match uh, the, uh, the size. So, I use this constraint proportion so that the proportions would uh, be the same. Now let's bring this one here below. Let's duplicate this a few times. And uh, I'm going to basically go ahead and uh, try to match uh, and, and see the different uh, um, sizes where each and every icon is going to uh, to fit well within one another. Um, so again, also like the sizes really depends on um, the individual icon. Um, some icons are going to look um, more consistent at a bit of a smaller size, other ones with a bigger one. It really depends on, on the icon really and the width uh, and the height which they are occupying. But yeah, overall, I think this is looking pretty good. And uh, now let's add uh, <clears throat> one more option at the very bottom, which is don't have an account. Let's write uh, sign up to make this bold. And let's center this uh, over here. All right, so we have uh, our screen. And now what we're gonna do as a, a small bonus, we're going to basically create uh, the dark version of the screen. So I'm simply going to, to grab this one right here and uh, we're going to basically turn this uh, into uh, dark mode. So let's select all of these elements. Let's go ahead uh, and uh, select these ones as well. And this one, and then we're going to select the whole frame, change the color. And uh, for the inner 
um, color. I'm probably going to, to use the same as uh, the uh, background color right here. I'm going to remove the stroke. And as you can see, the icons are a little bit too prominent. So maybe let's try and do 50% opacity. <clears throat> and uh, for the ellipses, we're going to go with uh, 80%. And uh, I think uh, this would uh, pretty much work well. And uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much uh, good to go. So really hope uh, you enjoyed uh, this tutorial and I uh, want to remind you that uh, I recently launched uh, a discount on my courses which is going to be available for a very short amount of time. So feel free to check it out in the link in the description and uh, I'm going to see you in the very next video.